Okay, so the song originally started off as just this little arpeggio guitar pattern as so. As I started to record it, I realised I needed a bit more colour, you know, the guitar on its own sounded nice, but overall it was just, I needed some more textures in there, but nothing too complicated, I just needed something to help, you know, enhance the guitar part and to drive the track along, so that's why I came up with this little percussion loop, so combined, the two of those sound like... So then, once I had my percussion down, I brought in the original guitar part. You know, so the three of those sound like... For the arpeggio guitar part, I took out quite a lot of the low end and boosted quite a bit of the mid frequencies because I wanted that kind of boxy old radio kind of sound. Okay, so the three of those together sound like... And as you can hear, it sounds nice, but it still feels like there's a bit too much space in there. This is why I went back to the guitar. I added in a kind of little strumming pattern this time. So for the strummed guitar parts, I ended up double tracking them, just one hard panned left and one right, but I bust them to the Sound Toys effects rack and just used the preset on this called Ambient Space. It just gives a nice kind of washy, ethereal reverb, you know, it just fills out a lot of the gaps in the track. So combined with the earlier instruments, it sounds like... And as you can hear, it sounds nice, but now that we've filled in a lot of the gaps, it's obvious that we don't have anything in the low end. So this is why I then decided to bring in some bass, just to fill it out, put a bit of a foundation on it. So that was the bass added to it. So if you want to hear what everything sounds like now, from the top we have... <laughs> 